welcome to a last minute video of Captain Battle Apps. Totally forgot to do a video slash didn't have my computer on me when I thought of having or recording the video, but whatever. Uh, so it's been two weeks since my last video. Uh, last week I didn't go to D&D, I had to bring my car in, whatever, spent money, yay. Uh, but Captain Battle Axe, I'm very excited to say what I'm going to say in a little while. So, uh, we're going along, the party's going along, we come to a lake, and we hear some distress screaming from some chick on the lake. We're like, oh, that's not good. So, one of the characters jumps in the water, uh, and starts swimming out to, uh, we see a boat in the distance, so he starts swimming out to the, the boat to see what's going on. And in the meantime, Captain Battleaxe is like, hey, I'm gonna check myself out in the water. Yeah, I, I look good and I'm fixing my hair and everything. So, Captain Battleaxe is basically being Captain Battleaxe. And uh, our one, our rogue like casts something on him to make him start glowing. I don't know. Basically, he's he's just being a jerk. And uh, so, eventually, find that there is this drunk guy on the boat, and he pitched this chick overboard. And the chick is like, she's the one that's screaming, and so of course we help her and bring the boat in. The guy's still being a jerk, whatever. And so <laughs> the the chick ends up, you know, kind of eyeing up Captain, Captain Battle Axe, of which I take advantage of, of course. So, you know, I'm keeping her warm, put my arm around her, hold her in tight, and I'm like, hey, you know, I'll keep you warm, wink, type of thing. Um, so... She tells us that, you know, this guy kind of talked her into going out there and then decided to sacrifice her for some stupid thing. And um, I basically volunteer our group to bring her back to her home, which happens to be across the lake, not even close to where we were originally headed. So we go across the lake and uh, we get, when we get across, there's... Uh, there's like a bunch of swarms of flying rats that start coming at us and you know we start fighting them and then this is where the chick becomes kind of a badass she like brings out her knives and she's like wah 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 and killing a bunch of stuff and i'm like whoa my chick is awesome and so we eventually make it back to her home and her dad of course is like oh thank you for saving her we will give you rewards uh, pick something from, pick a, a, a container from this shed. So we pick a, a container and nothing really good is in it, but apparently it was one of the better ones. So yay for us. And um, when we go and we're, we're, long story short, and also because I can't remember, it was two weeks ago. Um, we find out that we need to go find that drunk guy for something for the the girl's father. So we start heading back and I'm like, oh wait, wait, wait. Can can we can I just have a couple minutes alone with this girl? Wink. And so I end up getting a couple minutes alone with the girl. And I rolled high charisma. But she wants to save her flower or she's not ready to give up her flower, which is sad. But I did get her to promise that she'd save herself for me. So Captain Battleaxe almost got laid, and even though he didn't get laid, he has the promise of some laid. <laughs> I was about to say some stuff that I probably shouldn't say, so we're just going to say he's going to eventually, hopefully, get laid. So, um, I guess uh, that's pretty much where I left it off. Again, I didn't make it last week because I had to bring my car in, the check engine light was on, woo. Um, so, I, I'm still at level three. Level three, I believe. Yeah. Um, so, hopefully, I don't know, 
I'm still quite a ways from level four, but hopefully soon. Um, and I guess that's all for this week. Thanks. Bye.